everyone, and welcome to Two Minute Chef. Today we'll be making a butternut squash chowder. Uh, we're going to start by having a basic for most every soup, it's mirepoix. Uh, we've already cut our celery, carrots, and onions into a small dice, just for presentation purposes. Uh, as always, of course, the ratio for that is 25% uh, carrots, 25% celery, and 50% onions. Well, that's cooking. We'll start dicing our butternut squash. Uh, the way I did this was I cut the top off and then I cut the half in half. And then just cutting large strips, turning them over, and then we're going to take those sticks and turn them into a dice. Now, while that's cooking away, we'll look at our flavoring agents. Right here we have about a tablespoon of sage and thyme, about equal parts, uh, some bay leaf, and some half and half. Uh, what this will do, it'll just flavor it and half and half will uh, thicken it up, but we want it more or less broth because it is, it is a chowder. Now when we're looking at our pot, our onions are nicely uh, wilted and they're translucent. You want to let that keep going just for a little bit longer, just to get all those flavors out of there. The pan's cooking, we'll deglaze with a slight amount of white wine, just enough to get all the fond off the bottom of the pan. You'll hear that reduce down. You don't want so much for the flavor, but just to start the base of, of what the soup is going to be. Now for this recipe, we'll just use straight water. Uh, sometimes you could do chicken stock, but we'll keep it in vegetarian. Comes in the half and half. And just let that simmer for a good 10 minutes and then serve. This is what our finished product would look like. Nice and brothy. Make sure you taste it before you serve it. Could use a little bit of uh, fresh pepper, salt to taste. And there you go, folks, butternut squash chowder.